Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. Now, I'm sure many of you know that allergies exist in this world. If you don't, allergies exist in this world. Yeah, this has been your PSA for allergies exist in this world. Uh, and one of the most common I don't I don't want to say newer, but it seems like it's more prevalent uh, due to or to a lot of things uh, diet environment social Structures in a way uh, there's been more, you know Allergies in general when there's been more dairy allergies and dairy sensitivities and in that vein I've noticed all of a sudden the yogurt market has done a huge flip with a lot of Greek yogurts having an almond milk base or a cashew milk or all kinds of different crazy things. And these are like the bigger name brands or the bigger name in the yogurt brands for adults. Now, for the first time, and obviously I haven't been looking at Danimals. So if someone's about to tell me, hey, Danimals has done this already, I don't care. I didn't look, all right? I'm really anti Danimals ever since they sold the Crush Cup, which was in order to eat the yogurt, you crush the cup. Well, guess what? When you crush a cup, you lose some of the yogurt. So, like, half the yogurt's stuck in the cu cup, and then you try to uncrush it, and you can't. And it's, what? Just give me a spoon. Why are you selling me a thing to be crushed? <sighs> ever since then, when I was like 15 when they released that, I haven't been about Danimals. So. Gogurt is another popular brand frequently targeted towards children, and this is their brand new dairy free coconut based Gogurt strawberry flavor. There, no glare. Why? Why? How can I not figure out where the glare might be? I think I have an idea based on where the actual light is, but I'm wrong every time. Yeah, even dynamic there, and, and it's shading. Yeah, look at that. Hey, dairy free. E yeah. Um, I don't know what's going on. I just got really annoyed by the glare, to be honest. So I looked all around this box too. You know, we talked about the Gushers yogurt. We've talked about yogurt in general that frequently sells itself as a healthier alternative snack, and frequently it isn't. Well, this dairy free yogurt, and I don't have actual yogurt information, but I think it's way different. Is pretty good for you. Each tube only has 50 calories. From fat, that's 3%, and its sugar is only 10% of your daily value, which is not great, but it's not bad. Most people eating a regular um, kind of diet where the yogurt is, say, your 3 o'clock snack, or even if you're a child and this is your 3 o'clock snack, that's not going to put you over your sugar, and it probably won't even get you close to your sugar limit, unlike, you know, Gushers yogurt that we were talking about. Yo, play, you really got your, get your stuff together. Um, the other thing I want to say is, uh, it's got a, a lot of calcium, 10% of your daily value, which I know that 10% of sugars is not as much I said, but potassium is because you frequently aren't really getting enough potassium in your life. You're not getting enough, many vitamins in your life. That being said, I never recommend supplements. They don't really, uh, get absorbed by your body the right way. They kind of mostly go through you and that's kind of pointless. The best way to get supplement, to get vitamins and stuff that you're deficient in is to eat foods that are high in that because that's how your body processes things. And, you know, a lot of companies make a lot of money on selling you a lot of things like vitamin pills that are 80,000% of your daily value and your body won't absorb like a small percentage of that. It's just not happening. But you know what? Let me get off my little soapbox about vitamins and how there are they are mostly uh, a scam. No, let's get to this product. Oh no, let's not because I got to tell you where I bought it from. This is from Target for 4.49. Now, I don't really like artificial coconut flavor. We've talked about that before. And I don't I like real coconut milk, but I don't like all the stuff that came canned and, and all of that. Like, I don't like that. And I like fresh coconut. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Uh, I did have Gogurt as a kid almost every day. And I loved it. And one thing that Gogurt would say is, oh, put it in the freezer and you'll have like a sweet treat. And I did. And it was great. That's all. There's not more to the story. It seems like there might be, but there isn't. Oh, it just smells like strawberry yogurt. Whoa, if the coconut is negligible, this is honestly, for me, 
going to become a three o'clock snack sort of thing. Like, because like I said, high in potassium. Recently, I had um, I was eating too many bananas personally, so like I don't. I'm not super deficient in potassium, but I switched my fruit from bananas to more strawberries, pineapple, like uh, in my diet, to more like strawberries, pineapple, like stuff that's more refreshing, I guess, if that makes sense. So I'm, oh, I'm, I, I'm probably lacking some potass. So it, you know what? If this, honestly, this could, this could be revolutionary for me. Which, if it's revolutionary for me, it's definitely revolutionary for everybody. Not that I'm saying that I'm the golden standard. But like, you know, I don't know how to three, two, one. That, well, I do. I three, two, one. And then I go, what am I talking about? Three, two, one. Sna oh, snack attack. Okay. There's something a little bit off about it. Um, it's a little bit creamier. It has creamier. It has a little bit richer of flavor. There's definitely a backdrop of that artificial coconut milk. Um, I know I made a face, but it, it's not terrible. I, it's it's a fine alternative if you can't have dairy. It's not better than Gogurt, and it's not better than a lot of healthier yogurts that are... Oh, yeah, there's really something... There's something off in the back. In the back of the throat, there's something off. And it's, it's the same thing for me when I drink coconut milk. It kind of coats, if that makes sense. It has like... Um, it has a film to it, and this has that film to it. At first, it was just that overtly artificial strawberry, but eventually it got to that weird coconutty texture. It, did, it doesn't have the flavor, though there is something a little bit off. It's, it's not the flavor of coconut milk. That being said, I think it is a snack attack pass for me. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and I don't need to eat things that don't taste good in my mouth. If that makes sense, well, I feel good in my mouth. I don't know. It's I don't. The, there's something really off-putting about it in the end, which is disappointing because I actually was kind of excited. Low calorie, interesting flavor, great potassium intake. I, I was excited. I was excited. I can't be blamed for that. That being said, it's definitely not going to get a super low score. It's it's okay. It's it's probably more than okay if you have a dairy allergy or dairy sensitivity. It could be your new go-to uh, dairy alternative yogurt because it's, like I said, not bad. And if you've already, you know, been inundated with coconut milk alternatives or cashew milk-based alternatives or almond milk alter or almond milk-based alternatives, this is, this is a good one. It's all right. Uh, it's gonna get a three and a half out of ten. Yeah, I mean, two, as I've said, means I can't. I I I, I don't want to eat another one. One means I can't. And three is like, it's, it's just not for me, you know? I don't know about my, like, dairy life intake. I, I can't really do milk, but, like, cheeses and yogurts are usually fine. And I know they're, like, processed differently, but basically what I'm saying is I don't have to chew yogurt yet, and this isn't better than normal yogurt. Could it be healthier? Maybe I don't have the nutritional information of normal yogurt. I'm sure the editor could put it up right now if I asked really nicely. Editor, put it up. Okay, I'll ask nicely. Editor, would you please put it up? All right, there it is. I'm assuming you've gleaned some sort of useful information from this. I haven't. I can't see it. In fact, I'm just hoping that something useful was gleaned there. It's no guarantee. But the question we asked around here is not, how much does it suck for just like me being in this misinformation loop when the editor gets to know everything and it feels like a sort of a deity and like a like their followers sort of thing and like the editor's the god of this world? I, I'm pretty sure I was, but alrighty. No, the question we asked around here is, would you buy it again? The answer is kind of regrettably no, because I really wanted to like this. I really wanted this to be a new alternative for me. And for many people, but it's just not gonna be that for me. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the fun YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.